فاسألوا أهل الذكر إن كنتم لا تعلمون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على من أرسله الله رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله وصحبه ومن صار على نهجه وقتف أثره إلى يوم الدين أما بعد The question that I'm going to answer today inshallah is going to be a question regarding a hadith that Al-Imam Abu Dawood narrated in his Sunan Tirmidhi Ibn Majah, Al-Hakim, Ahmed in his Musnad, on the authority of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, Shaykh al-Albani authenticated in his kitab, Sahih al-Jami' and also in his Targhib wa Tarheeb, Rahimahullah, Sahih al-Targhib wa Tarheeb. The hadith is, that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, so the question is regarding this hadith, what does it mean? Ayyuma imra'atin, any woman, Naza'at that takes off thiyabaha, her clothing, fi ghayri bayti ummatiha, who takes it off in other than the house of her mother, faqad hatakati sitra, she has unveiled, she has put down the veil between her, alladhi baynaha wa bayna ar-Rahmani, between herself and Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. The question is, what does this hadith mean? Does it mean that if the woman takes off her garment and her clothing anywhere, so, such as her hotel, such as her, her housing um, with her family members, what does the hadith mean? The intention or the, exp the explanation of the hadith is if the woman takes off her clothing in front of those who are not from her maharim, people who are ajanib, foreigners to her, they're not her brothers, they're not her uncles, her paternal uncles, her maternal uncles, not her father, not her children, none of that. Basically, they are not her maharim. She takes it off in front of them. وَلَمْ تَسْتُرْ مِنْهُمُ السِّتْرَ She doesn't put her veil between them and them. Ah, this hadith is referring to this. Uh, because Allah wa ta'ala ordered that we, the women wears libas taqwa the clothing of piety. The man has it, so does the woman. Allah says in Surah Al-A'raf, Ayah 26, Ya Bani Adam, the children of Adam, قَدْ أَنزَلْنَا عَلَيْكُمْ لِبَاسًا يُوَارِي سَوْآتِكُمْ وَرِيشًا وَلِبَاسُ التَّقْوَى ذَلِكَ خَيْرٌ ذَلِكَ مِنْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَذَّكَّرُونَ For the children of Adam, we have sent down clothing for you, in which you can cover your private parts. Allah then says in that verse, وَلِبَاسُ التَّقْوَى The clothing of piety, ذَلِكَ خَيْرٌ That's good for you. ذَلِكَ مِنْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ That is from the verses of Allah لَعَلَّهُمْ يَذَّكَّرُونَ So, the woman, her clothing of taqwa, in which she has to wear, or she was ordered to wear, Allah has informed us of what it is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He said, وَلَا يُبْدِينَ زِيلَتَهُنَّ She should not bring her beauty out. إِلَّا لِبُعُولَتِهِنَّ Except her husband's. أو آبائهن أو آباء بعولتهن أو أبنائهن أو أبناء بعولتهن أو إخوانهن أو بني إخوانهن أو بني أخواتهن أو نسائهن أو ما ملكت أيمانهن أو التابعين غير أولي الإربة من الرجال أو الطفل الذين لم يظهروا على عورات النساء سورة النور آية 31 الله talks about the people in which she is allowed to show herself and also the part of even those people she is not allowed to strip naked in front of them she is not allowed to. She has a limit in which she can show her neck, her hair, and her feet. If the woman goes to a sauna, this hadith refers to it as well. The hadith, the prohibition refers to even the sauna. If a woman goes to a sauna, she has taken the garment between her and Allah wa ta'ala. And she will be punished for it the day of judgment. But if a woman goes to a hotel, where it's between her and her husband, or she's in a house of her family, where there's no ajani, there's no foreigners in that house, then the hadith does not, does not deal with that, and that's not what it's talking about. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best.